all definitely know about greenhouse gases and the climate crisis. Carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor are all examples of greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are part of the troposphere. Despite making up only 1% of the atmosphere, they are able to have a massive effect upon maintaining Earth's habitable temperatures. This is called the greenhouse effect as the gases have similar principles to how glass greenhouses work to allow for warm growing conditions for plants. When the sun's light energy is absorbed by the gas molecules, they go into an excited state. To go back into their ground state, the energy is re-emitted. Because of the movement of molecules, heat energy is produced. The rays can either hit the surface of the earth and get absorbed or deflect again and again until heat escapes the exosphere. This is why the moon does not have habitable conditions as it does not have an atmosphere to contain the sun's heat. Venus on the other hand is so hot despite not being the closest to the sun because of massive amounts of sulfur dioxide in its atmosphere trapping a lot of heat. Without greenhouse gases, the planet will get too cold, but an excess will kill all life as well. Let's take a look at a water molecule. It is made up of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Such molecules have a neutral charge, having equal number of protons and electrons. Despite this, the negative charges can be closer to one side than other, which in this case is with the oxygen atom in the center. This is known as a lopsided charge, caused due to the asymmetrical shape of water molecules. The distance between these opposite charges is the dipole moment, which changes when the molecule undergoes the following movements. For some, asymmetrical stretching occurs, and for others, bending. The sun releases infrared radiation, light which is lower than the visible spectrum. When the light hits a molecule, its lopsidedness allows it to absorb the ray, and when it does, it vibrates to release the energy to go back into its ground state. But not all greenhouse gases are electronically lopsided. Gases such as methane can collide with one another, inducing different modes of vibration, which allows for re-emission of heat energy. This is why we look towards solutions to minimize production of greenhouse gases, so as to reduce human-induced global warming. All right. If this video provided value to you, be sure to subscribe for more. Stay scientific.